Welcome back. As Donald Trump is preparing to enter the White House, some of his belongings are about to get the presidential price tag. Joining me right now to go through memorabilia of Donald Trump and past presidents is Golden Auctions President Ken Golden. Ken, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much. You know, I was astounded to see how many things that Donald Trump signed um, that actually just have skyrocketed in, in value. With him signing the oath of office, this was obviously uh, signed uh, prior to his inauguration this Friday, but let's talk about some of the things. The presidential oath of office right here. Exactly. And that may be one of the most unusual because typically they'll wait till after they have entered the office. And this one actually was signed in November of 2015. So hmm. he must have been very confident that he was going to win the uh, election. And it comes with a letter of authenticity that dates it. So even if he signs futures and ones in the future, they'll know that this is the first one ever signed. Now, what about this? This is Ronald Reagan. That is very historic. Perhaps wow. the most historic item we have. That was signed on his very first day of office. It is dated. And instead of just signing an oath, oath of office, he actually hand wrote the whole thing out. It's chronicled in the White House, White House archives, and it comes with a photograph of him actually signing the document. So that's, that's gone up to $25,000. Yeah, the estimate on that is $25,000. So President-elect Donald Trump also signed a picture of himself behind a gold desk next to an American flag. Uh, that's, that's this one right here. That is correct, yes. And uh, what does this photo go for now? Uh, the, current bid on, the current bid on that photo, I believe, is 300 and we have an estimate of 500 Wow. So w w what is it about these signed items that creates the value to go up so well, much? Well, it's presidential collectibles have a tremendous value, starting with uh, George Washington. You know, there are documents of Washington worth in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And then an interesting collectible has been presidential baseballs, because presidents have always gone out and signed and, you know, thrown out first pitches, and you can go back to uh, things like Truman and Roosevelt and Kennedy baseballs. May, if they're very nice, may bring upwards of fifty thousand dollars or more per ball. If they if they sign a baseball. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I signed it. I, yeah. I threw out the first pitch at a baseball game. Uh, my ball is not going for fifty thousand. Yeah. So he he signed that one. Donald yes. Trump did. Yes, he did. And you think that's going to go for fifty grand? Uh, no, that one should go. That one should go for around fifteen hundred. Okay. Let me ask you about this ticket because yes. you brought us a ticket from President Richard Nixon's impeachment. Tell us about this ticket. Uh, this was, it, it's very unusual. It is a ticket to be able to get into the impeachment of Richard Nixon. We wow, estimate fun. that this, you know, this will go for around $1,500. Uh, why, why do you think the ticket uh, was, was going for so much? Well, who saved it? You have to, the, yeah, great, the, the great thing about collectibles is I always tell people if it was created to be a collectible and to be saved in great condition, it normally won't be worth a lot. However, if, if it was something that's just a part of history, be yeah. it sports or political, that's when it becomes valuable. Is it better? Does it get a higher price when it's, you know, to Ken? Or no. just the signature. I mean, if it says to Maria, does that take it, the it value devalues, down? It devalues it greatly. It could it be does. worth maybe 10 or 20 percent of what it would have been otherwise. Because when you go to sell it, you know, it, it just doesn't carry the cash out. It's a good point. So when you actually have an opportunity to get somebody to sign something, just get the signature. Don't get them to say to whoever. Exactly. You have a signed autograph sketch of John F. Kennedy. Show sure. us that one. Here we go. It is. Uh, let me show this. It's right here. Yeah. And this is actually one of the last autographs that uh, President Kennedy signed. It was signed in 1963. The signature is in mint condition, and we estimate this at $2,500 plus. Very, very cool. And all of these items are currently up for auction at goldenauctions.com, and it runs through January 28th. All right. We want to look at Donald Trump's Washington Nationals POTUS jersey, yeah. <laughs> autographed by That's himself. Cool. Obviously, Trump 45, he will be the 45th president of the United States. Correct. I mean, it's, it's a neat novelty item, and uh, we actually have, you know, this is Washington Nationals because that's where he's going to be at home in Washington, D.C., and on this particular item, we estimate forty five, uh, estimate $1,500. Wow. Now, the Chicago White Sox have a POTUS jersey of their own, this one for President Obama. Correct. Well, well, tell us about that one. What, what, how this, much? this one, this is a frame piece, so it was a little bit too big for me to bring in the studio, okay. but we know that he's a White Sox fan, and this is currently up for auction as well, and we have a $1,000 estimate on this one. When people buy these, they're just looking to hang it up in their house, put it in their museum. I mean, they're not... 
It, and it, you just want to continue to care for them very well. So yeah, I mean, the, um, you want to keep them out of direct sunlight. You want to keep them as you would keep any other collectible. Some of the items, like the Trump Oath of Office and the Reagan Oath of Office, probably are not generally for display purposes. The other items, a lot of people may frame up the jersey. The Obama one was already framed. The Trump one would need to be framed and display it and show it off with pride. A yeah. lot, a lot of people like having it in their business offices because it's very impressive to walk yeah. in and see something signed sure. by the president. Sure. Real quick, give me, just give me the lowdown on. On, on these two. Sure. This is actually a piece of the cloth that uh, was draped over the um, casket of uh, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wow. And under here, we have a very rare large photograph of uh, Theodore Roosevelt, and that is a beautiful signature. We expect that to go in the $2,500 range. Good stuff. Ken, good to see you. Good seeing you Thanks again. Thanks so much. Thank you. Ken Golden, uh, goldenauctions.com.